Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meerisha once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to calculate the total income from income from house property, other source and deduction. It's a com combination of three topics together. Okay, a very important topic for all the TY, BCom, SEM5 students. Okay, this is a 100% 20 mark sum which will always be there in the paper. Okay, so let us see how to solve such sum. Income from house property. Now, there are four types of property that we can be given. One is called SOP, that is self-occupied. The other one is called LOP, that is let out property, meaning property which you are given out on rent for complete 12 months. VLOP, that is the property which has been, you know, vacant for a particular number of months in a year. So, that's less than 12 months you are giving on a rent. And DLOP is nothing but it is assumed LOP, it's like an LOP, okay. Now, format goes with A, B, C, D, E, F, G. The first alphabetical value up to G, that is gross annual value. The formats say that first is fair rent and municipal value. Then it is higher of A and B. Standard rent, lower of C and D. And actual rent, that is uh, you know, higher of E and F. Now, the question say, states that after getting gross annual value, the next thing we have to do is we have to less municipal tax. From municipal tax, when you subtract, you will get your first answer that's called NAV. From NAV comes less deduction under section 24. Two types of deduction. One is standard deduction that will be 30% of NAV and the other one is interest paid on construction of, you know, the house property. When you subtract the deduction from NAV, you get income from house property. Now, the rule is that for SOP, that is self-occupied, all the values up to NAV and standard deduction will be nil only interest paid can be available for LOP it goes as per the rule and for VLOP the rules is very simple whatever is the actual rent that will become your GAV and thereafter you have to solve the sum according to the format okay DLOP and LOP both are same so they will go as per the entire format only for VLOP you have to remember that actual whatever is the actual rent that will become your GAV okay so that's the basic format of income from house property. So if in the question is given only calculate income from house property, this is it. This is the only in the format. But if they tell you compute total income and they have given you house property. So then after finding the in answer of income from house property, the next you'll have to find income from other source. Other source includes your dividend, winning from lottery, interest on security, income from machineries or all other assets, family pension and gift which are more than 50,000 from non relatives after getting income from other source we'll have to do less deduction under chapter 6a all the sections okay are given we have made a special video for that where we learned about what are the various deductions available and how can you get those deduction under what each deduction what uh, itineraries are added okay once we have learned the format the thing that come under other sources and the thing that come under deduction under chapter 6a we can now start with the actual sum. So let us see how to solve the sum when they ask us to find total income when they are giving you sum based on house property. So let us see how to solve the sum. Okay, now let us see how to solve this particular sum. In the question, it was given that uh, Miss Gayatri has two houses. The first one is SOP. The second one is LOP. Now the rule for SOP is that up to NAV, all the values of self-occupied property will be nil. Okay, so now we only have to do the calculation of LOP part. Now this is the sum which has, you know, computation of total income. So you will have income from house property, other source and deduction. If in the question they have only asked, so in the exam, they, if they only have income from house property, this is it. This is the only format that has to be solved. Okay. Chalo, now for LOP, we'll see what, what things have been given. The very first thing they have given you is fair rent, 6 lakhs. So we'll note down that 6 lakhs. After that, they're giving you municipal valuation, 6 lakhs, 10,000. We note it down. Okay. Point number C is higher of A and B. So the higher value among these two was 6 lakhs 10. So we'll note down this as 6 lakh 10. Next was rent received 6 lakhs 50,000. So I'm wrote, writing down at rent received 6 lakhs 50,000. So whatever data has been given, we are just posting it down. Next is municipal tax paid is 40,000. So municipal tax paid is 40,000. 
the rule is municipal tax has to be paid by the owner and that also needs to be paid no outstanding will be allowed uh, or will be noted down here okay secondly now this is somewhere the entire thing is based on lop so there is no vacant uh, let out this is purely let out okay now the only difference between let out and vlop is that uh, we, you know, I'll first we'll finish this part and then I'll tell you what's the only difference between both the properties. So you'll, if the question comes based on VLOP, how you'll have to formulate that. Okay. After that, they're giving you fire insurance, nothing to do in the sum. There's nothing, no place for fire insurance. Land revenue doesn't have any place. Interest paid on loan taken for construction of house. Yes. Now that is the only thing that is the only thing which will appear on both the sides. Okay, so that will be negative 1,60,000 and negative 1,50,000 since they come under deductions. Remember, under SOP, if the loan interest on loan is before 1999, only 30,000 ka deduction you can get. If it is after that, okay, you will get 2 lakh ka deduction. So, there's 2 lakhs on either side, you will get a deduction of interest on loan for the property or for the house property. Okay, so now uh, this is it. There's nothing else that have been given and then they have told us uh, there's something repayment of principal and then there are some adjustments. The adjustments are nothing to do with this property, uh, you know, the house property sum. So now higher and lower we got, there's no standard rent. So we will get point number E that is lower of C and D as 6 lakhs 10,000. Again, 6 lakh 10 and 6 lakh 50 higher of you know your e and f step is your gross annual value which is 6 lakh 50 thousand now from 6 lakh 50 you minus municipal tax and you will get your nav so it's come to 6 lakh 10 thousand from that now we need deduction under section 24 standard deduction that is 30 percent of nav so 6 lakh 10 thousand ka 30 percent will come to 1 lakh 83 thousand in negative Okay, so that's it. From NAV, we subtract all our deductions. So now for SOP, it will be negative 1,60,000 itself. For LOP, it will be 6,10 minus minus. So you get 2,77,000. Okay, and your final answer, your final value, that will be net income from house property. From house property is positive 2,77,000 minus 1,60,000, which comes to 1,17,000 triple zero that's your income from house property now to this we need to add income from other source so that's our second part we note down this as income from other sources now from income from this let us read the adjustment it said that uh, miss Gayatri also receives some other income number one dividend fund Mafatlal industry so now uh, before Dividend in the previous old uh, years, dividend was exempted. Now, dividend is no more exempted. So, yes, it will be chargeable. So, dividend is an income from other source. Yes, the amount is 10,000. And secondly, they said interest on FD. So, yes, interest on FD is also a income from other source, which is 20,000. Okay, and then it says you paid some insurance. So insurance doesn't come here, that will come under some deduction. So income from other sources is 30,000. You add up and we will get a gross taxable income. So gross taxable income will be 117,000 plus 30,000 that will come to 147,000. Now towards this last step, that is step number three, that is we need to minus deductions under chapter 6a so let us see what all deductions can be seen now there is one thing repayment of principal amount of loan okay that comes under ATC that is repayment of loan amount so the value is I can see that's 30,000 given so that will be 30,000 negative and Last adjustment said that you paid some medical insurance. Now medical insurance come under ATD. Medical insurance comes under ATD. So that comes to now 25,000 ka deduction is available. So the value here is given 18,000 by check. If it by check, you will get deduction up to 25,000. Since it's only 18,000, we will note it as 18,000. Okay. Other than that, there's nothing else available. So that's it.
from gross taxable income when we will subtract our deduction we will get a final answer net taxable income okay that comes up to okay so it will be 147000 minus 48000 so that will come up to 99000 okay so with that this particular sum comes to an end now in your exam if they have only asked you to compute income from house property then it will only get over up to this step if it is a total income sum then it goes ahead with other sources and deductions okay secondly if this sum would have been a uh, VLOP okay instead of LOP if you had VLOP the rule is only one simple whatever in VLOP whatever is your actual rent that will become your GAV okay whatever is your actual that will become GAV and thereafter you have to solve in the same manner so no matter if your actual is less than you know step number e still you will have to take the actual okay that's the only difference be VLOP and LOP in LOP you go as per the rule high low high but in VLOP whatever is your actual rent that becomes your GAV okay so i hope everyone have understood it's a very simple topic again this is a very important from the exam point of view and i hope everyone have understood it chalo with that we will be ending this video thank you